This is a short video to cover the challenges organizations face with file transfer and how TIPCO Managed File Transfer can help address those challenges. Virtually every organization uses file transfer in one way or another, but few have the proper controls in place to ensure they are not putting the company at risk. Many organizations uh, have failed security audits identifying threats, whether it's uh, not encrypting the data during communication, not properly securing the passwords that are used for file transfer, a number of different security issues. There's also problems around reliability. Many organizations are simply leveraging file transfer protocol, or FTP, and uh, studies have shown industry average error rates around 6% when using the uh, FTP protocol. Also, uh, another challenge is that you're unable to tell who's transferring what files from to whom because there's very limited or no auditing capabilities built within the tools that users have selected to uh, use. Also, these tools are often selected by the individual project or user. Uh, this is true for the tools that are used for transferring data between different applications or systems because the developer for that system chose the particular approach they were going to take. But it's also true now for the end users who are starting to use different uh, SaaS offerings to share files with other users outside of the organization. And again, all of this is going to happen with outside the controls of the organization. It presents a problem. Uh, another challenge we often hear from uh, the customers is uh, there's lengthy onboarding Boarding processes for new partners. So we had one organization that it would take several weeks to bring on a new partner and that presented a number of different uh, problems for them from a business standpoint. So what organizations choose TIPCO Managed File Transfer for is to allow them to consolidate to a single platform to address all of their file transfer needs. And a key aspect to that, it has to be able to address all of the various forms of file transfer that they're looking to do. And I'll talk about those different forms in a minute. Um, also, uh, to improve the visibility and security of the overall system, having a centralized location where they can go and see uh, who's transferring what files to whom and when, to see what errors have occurred, to even reinitiate uh, transactions that may have failed, to simplify the troubleshooting and all of that. Uh, and then finally, uh, another key aspect for choosing TIPCO is to improve the overall integration of the file transfer processes uh, into the larger uh, integration umbrella. Uh, just a little bit more on that uh, in a minute. Um, but first, let's talk about the key components of the file transfer suite. First, there's the platform server. The platform server is designed to allow you to securely and reliably exchange information between different applications within your environment. There's a small component that gets uh, installed in each server, and that component is able to provide the guaranteed delivery between different endpoints. And if any errors occur, able to automatically pick up uh, from the point of failure and ensure the file gets there without having any human intervention get involved. The platform server also provides event-driven transactions. So by simply uh, dropping a file into a particular location, the platform server will automatically transfer that. So you can eliminate the need for complicated scripts and, and alike. Uh, and, and additionally, after the transfer is completed, you can define what actions should be taken on that file, either on the local side or the remote side, um, to uh, further continue the processing of the uh, transaction. The next component is the internet server. And the internet server's pr uh, primary function is to deal with uh, file transfers in and out of the organization. Uh, so what you're able to do is securely transfer files to remote partners. The key here is it supports uh, a wide variety of protocols, making it easy for the business partner to do business with you because they can pick the protocol that most uh, appropriately suits their needs and you support the wide range of them. Um, one of the key features of the internet server is the ability to stream the data directly through the internet server to the back end server. 
So uh, the end user sees a virtual directory, and they might see, you know, if they're listing out different directories, you know, a number of areas where they can place files. But depending on where they place those files, we'll automatically stream that directly to the appropriate system on the back end, and using that post-processing action that I talked about, uh, can also process that file. So it's a single step, eliminating multiple points of failure if you have multiple hops within the, uh, the system, and it has all the security and controls uh, built into it that you would expect uh, in to ensure the security of a process like that. Uh, the Internet Server also offers uh, file transfer on an ad hoc basis, where you have end users that might need to share files with business partners on the outside, whether it's ad agencies looking to get you know, high resolution graphics or whatever the, the file transfer needs are, users have the ability through a browser to go in there and share files with the end user. Um, and uh, what it does is it, uh, it provides a tool where they can now stop using those other uh, file sharing systems that are outside of the control of the organization. The next component of the suite is the uh, command center. The command center is this centralized control that allows you to have full visibility over everything that's happening within the environment. You can also can control all file transfers that are taking place within the environment from within the command center as well. So you can initiate uh, platform server transfers or internet server transfers. Um, the command center maintains a centralized audit uh, control, so you have the ability to query for specific transactions, whether it's for specific users, specific use cases, or those transactions that were, you know, failed. So you can take immediate action to correct those uh, transactions. One key feature of the command center as well is the delegated administration. I mentioned earlier about an account that was taken a couple of weeks to onboard a new trading partner. With delegated administration, that account was able to allow the business users who were signing up the business partner to actually onboard them, but they were uh, kept with inside of the scope of just their department and not able to uh, affect any of the other groups with inside of the command center or affect any of the other transfers. So they're able to um, push out the control. It offloaded the burden for those who were managing the file transfer system, but it also provided a better service for the business users, and it was a win-win. The command center is also that integration point for the rest of the TIPCO suite. Um, and that's really one of the main goals of uh, TIPCO Managed File Transfer. It's to fill the gap between the world of real-time messaging, real-time exchanging of information, and the world of batch file transfer. Uh, and there's a number of key capabilities with inside of the tool for that. Um, TIPCO Managed File Transfer is able to read and write data directly to JMS queues. Uh, that's including TIPCO's Enterprise Message Service. Um, so you're able to read and write data directly to them, uh, and that often will bypass a number of steps that people have with inside of the um, you know, trial f file transfer flow. Um, what you can also do is from directly with inside of Business Works, you can orchestrate your entire file transfer workflow. Um, we have a plugin that works directly with it, with Business Works that allow you to um, initiate transfers for both platform server transfers and, and, and internet server transfers. What it also allows you to do is have a Business Works trigger that will be um, will be triggered once. Uh, a file transfer is complete, so you can define which transfers would trigger that uh, particular transaction or process, and it would automatically tr trigger that. Um, so basically, um, what we have now is a single offering that addresses the uh, real-time needs for integration as well as your file transfer needs, all from a single uh, environment. And it's a, uh, a particular uh, key aspect there. Now, if you're interested in what you've heard today, uh, what I would recommend is from directly from the uh, typical managed file transfer product page on our website, you can request a live demo where we would have a subject matter expert work with you, understand what your challenges are, and show you firsthand how you can do that with typical managed file transfer. The other option is um, to talk to your local representative. Um, they're, almost all of them are very familiar with the offer and they'd be able to work closely with you as well or pull in that subject matter expert um, to help address your specific needs. So I hope this was helpful for you and I thank you for your attention uh, and have a good day.